Hey there YouTube, what's up, it is Matt Carl Reboot, today I'm going to be showing you how to custom spray paint a PS3 controller. Alright, so here's some controllers I've already painted, such as this Xbox 360 one, and here's some pictures of other controllers I've painted. Alright, so if you want me to make you a controller, I do have a link to my website in the description, so be sure to check those out. So to spray paint a PS3 controller, you will need a few things, such as a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, some spray paint. I like to use the Krylon Fusion for plastic spray paint because it bonds to the plastic really well without having to sand. Uh, and you also will need a clear coat spray paint. Uh, now this protects the paint and keeps it from scratching off when you actually use the controller. And I like to use some masking tape to actually make the design on the controller. And if you want, you can buy a respirator to help uh, filter out all the fumes and uh, you know, it helps your lungs out. So, first things first, you want to take the Phillips head screwdriver and take out the five screws on the back side of the controller. Here's one, two, three, four, five. Alright, so once you have all the five screws out, you can uh, take the controller and press on the bottom to release the clip. And then just lift up the controller and the back should pop right out. And there should be these little clips that also come out uh, right here too. And then from there, you can just um, flip over this va this battery, sorry, and there is a small silver screw right here in which you have to take out. You do you do have to use a smaller screwdriver, so just take that and unscrew it. Once you have that screw undone, you can just lift up the circuitry and put that off into a safe place. That will also come out with the triggers. And then you can take out this for the LED lights, uh, and then just take out the rest of the controller. Make sure that you don't lose anything, keep everything in a safe spot, because you will be needing it again. <clears throat> Alright, so once you have the controller disassembled and all the, and all the circuitry out, you want to take the two parts of the shell and just clean them really thoroughly to make sure that all the dirt and grime is out. So I'm just going to take, uh, take an old toothbrush and some soap, and make sure everything is nice and clean. So. Alright, so once you have the controller nice and clean, you're going to want to put some tape on the inside of these four circles uh, just to make sure that the buttons won't stick when you paint the controller. Alright, so once you have the controller prepped and ready to go, just take it out to a nice well ventilated area lay down some newspaper so you don't get the paint on anything else and do around the, around four to five light coats do the trick for me um, you want to do light coats so that the paint won't run and it'll come out nice and smooth so just do around four to five and you should be good Alright, so once you have the color that you want, I'm going to make the design now. So I'm going to take the two pieces and put it back together. Alright, so now I'm going to take a few pieces of tape and wrap them around uh, to make a cool design. So, let's do it. Alright, so now that you have the design that you want, as you can see I kind of just kind of just made up this design, but you want to take an X-Acto knife and cut along all of the edges so you can take the controller apart again. Alright, so now that you have the design taped on that you want, I'll just bring it back outside into a well-ventilated area, and I'm going to take my black spray paint and just go over it a few times. Alright, so now that the paint's dry, you can take off all the tape and see how the controller looks.
Alright, so once you have the tape off and you're happy with the design, you're going to want to put on the clear coat which protects the controller. So I'm just going to put on a few layers of this clear enamel. Alright, so once all the tape is off and you're happy with the result, you can just put the controller back together and you'll be done. So, let's do it. Alright, so once you have the controller all back together, you're pretty much done. Uh, the controller is working perfectly. And remember, if you want me to make you a controller, I do have a link in the description to my website. Or you can even just shoot me a message through Facebook and um, we'll talk through there. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. And I'm Matt Carl Reboot. Thanks for watching.